Hi everyone and welcome back. This is boa litter number five. They are all uh, BCI boas. Hi! 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 Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Nice. Smash nice. it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Yes. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. Basically, almost all the boas that I breed are BCIs right now. Uh, in the next year or two, we'll have leopard boas and who knows, maybe some uh, Brazilian ones. I haven't thought of if I'm going to be breeding them as I've been basically, I've been really considering downsizing. So I've kind of been working with the ones that I have. I have a couple that I want to prove out to see if they're carrying some genes. But after that, I'm really going to be just focusing on a lot more, probably just higher end stuff. I'm going to have a lot less breeding snakes and just do a few, just do a few a year and try and just make like some really fancy stuff and not do as much of the more normal things. Since there, there are a lot of people breeding and I don't just want to produce snakes for the sake of it, I want to produce really, really beautiful snakes, uh, mostly for myself. I keep the best and sell the rest, so that's my story. Hashtag that, okay? Uh, so here, let's show you litter five. Here we go. So, there's all the sheds. I believe one of them didn't shed, but basically when all of them shed except one, I'm gonna make the video anyways because sometimes there'll be one or two that just doesn't want to shed, so let them be, but really for the most part, they all shed. And we got a nice variety in this one. We got some really cool looking ones too. So uh, see that one right there that looks really dark? That one has not shed. So it's really cool because sometimes before they shed, you see a snake and you're like, oh wow, it's going to be so dark. But then it ends up being not so dark. <laughs> so I'll go through the morphs, I guess, and show you some of them. Ooh, never mind that. So let's look at the... We'll look at the snows first. Or you know what? The hypos want to get out. There's a hypo that wants to get out, so maybe I'll show you that. Go to our little black viewing chair. Here we have hypos. All of these guys are available. They haven't eaten yet, so they have to eat their first few meals, and then they will be good to go. Uh, some of these look really, really cool. So just so you can see a good example, I'm going to show you this one because it's it, it's hard to see the colors sometimes, but it's got like dark, like pinks in it really cool colors like it, it doesn't really show but it kind of like has like almost three colors it looks like this like dark and red and I wonder if I take it outside You just see it in the sunlight like it has really beautiful colors and lots of the time even like whenever we make videos or whatever it's really hard to show the colors that these things have but really really beautiful colors so that is 
a hypo and these hypos I want to look at it some more it just it was really hard to see what these guys look like they they really do look amazing so these hypos are a hundred percent het for annery and they are 66 percent het albino so that's the story for them Now we're looking at the normals, so you can see the two, one is shed, one is not, so you can see it again the difference between a snake that hasn't shed and a snake that has. Looks totally different. So sometimes, like I said, you get them and you think, wow, it's so dark, it's so cool, and then it sheds and it goes brighter. And uh, these are normals. So these are basically just your base plain boa and they're still beautiful. And uh, basically, if all you really are looking for is a nice boa, these are great. There's no difference really between them and the other fancy ones except for how they look. And I, like always, I play with all of them from the time they're little. I rub their faces and stuff. And at first they don't like it the most, but over time they get used to it. And by playing with their faces a lot, and getting them on frozen thawed, you end up with wonderful, wonderful pets that are just a delight to care for, feed, and do all that stuff. So there are the two normals. Okay, so here we have anneries, and anneries are really beautiful, especially when they're young. So they have no red pigment. It's a recessive gene, so it means that both parents have to have a copy of the gene in order to produce it. I'm going to start making maybe a few videos explaining genes so that you can understand a bit more. I have a silly video on uh, moon glows. It's called How to Make a Moon Glow. I'll put a link here. If you want to learn more about genes, watch this video. It's kind of silly, but it goes over a lot of these genes and explains how they work. So. Another thing to note with uh, anneries is they look super gray. They, they look basically almost like Bolivian uh, silverbacks when they're babies, but they don't stay this gray, unfortunately. And I think that it's really kind of almost dishonest to sell these to people and tell them, hey, this is going to be a gray snake, because as it gets older, it does kind of turn brown. It doesn't have any red pigment, but they do... They do get darker and they don't stay like this as much as we'd like them to. And they're still beautiful and they do keep these like wonderful gray eyes, like these gray white eyes. But they do, they do get more color and it's, it's good to be honest about that. I like to always be honest with people, that way they know what they're getting. And if they're looking for something that ends up staying like this, then I would suggest to look for a silverback Bolivian boa which is also a smaller species of boa, which can be nice also. But the the thing with sizes is, is like you can keep BCIs just about the same size as the boas that are considered dwarf boas. It, it all has to do with uh, controlling how you feed them, not overfeeding them. And most people do overfeed their snakes, unfortunately. And you really don't need to. They can stay very, very manageable. So these are the anneries. I just love the way those tails look. The next thing we're looking at here are ghosts. Ghosts are very beautiful snakes. They are a combination of that anery gene that we just saw and the first gene, the hypogene. So the hypogene makes things red and it also tends to clean up the pattern. 
But uh, with these ones, they have the red that is supposed to be there because they're hypos. You can kind of see hypos or salmons, they have like these bow ties. Uh, salmon is a line of hypo and they always have uh, bow ties. Whereas uh, there's lots of different hypos, kind of like jeans are pants, but not all pants are jeans. So every salmon is a hypo, but not every hypo is a salmon. But salmons are identified more by having this like really strong bow tie. And if I'm wrong and not telling you the right information, correct me in the comments below. Because what do I know? I just, I just say what I hear and read and I'm not 100% on anything, so. But ghosts do stay a lot lighter. As they get older, they kind of turn like a creamy beige. getting little baby kisses oh it's so cute they're in love oh wow let's keep them together <laughs> that was a joke here is a sun glow that is het annery and a sun glow is basically one of those hypos and albino so the hypo and albino together make what is called the sun glow so it's a hypo and an albino and they are really cool they end up being really yellow and orange as they get older and once again we can't really see what it looks like so we're gonna take this one outside too And now, let's look at the snows. So we got three lovely snows. And what a snow is, and they're all girls. So a snow is basically an albino and an anery. So when we have, uh, Albino on its own, it's a lot more yellow and When we add the anery to it, it kind of cuts that yellow in half and you end up with these Beautiful very light snakes and once again, they do get a little bit yellow as they get older So they don't stay white as much as we'd love them to they do go a little yellow but still lovely nonetheless and all of these are already sold so, if you do end up wanting a snow or a moon glow, you have to contact me and get on my list. Because basically, if you're not on my list, they're all gone. <laughs>
And now we always got to save the best for last. We have a moon glow. So once again, a moon glow is a hypo, an anery, and an albino all together. So three genes. This one is a boy, and this one is going to Stella, who has wanted one of these for a long time. <laughs> so she was the first one on my list, and she got them. So there will probably not be any more of these until next year. And I already have one person waiting for next year, so if you want a moon glow next year, message me, get on that list. If you if you notice, you can see those those bow ties, and that's how you know he is a moon glow. And the pattern is very clean, so the hypo really cleans the pattern and makes them really clean and smooth. And then the anery just totally gets rid of the red because those bow ties, like you saw in the sun glow, they'd be like red and orange, but what the anery does is it just takes that red and makes it disappear. So it cuts the albino's yellow in half, basically, and it takes the red from the hypo and it just totally gets rid of it. Oh, he's a lively one. He doesn't he doesn't want to stay still, so we're going to keep him inside. Yeah, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Now make sure you click circle. Yeah. Click the circle. Yeah. And then, watch this video, or this one. No. Yeah? No. Yes. It's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one? Or is it this one?